Hello there, and welcome to Greetings from Florida, a weekly roundup of the horrible news stories to come out of Florida. Yes, Florida, a state we're fairly certain Jesus has given up on. For our first story, we have an incident that involves bath salts. A man high on bath salts attacked a car, smashing his head into the windshield. The man was then confronted by a local fire chief who tried to question him. When confronted, the man proceeded to attack the fire chief and bitch slap him across the face. Fire chief then apparently punched him in the face, which had no effect, and so picked up a radio and then hit him with it. It's hard to call it a fight so much as one man getting his ass kicked by a much bigger and stronger man. While high on various amounts of drugs. Next is a follow-up to a previous story, the Goliath Alligator. The gigantic alligator, previously seen on a golf course, has returned. He was sighted eating a turtle. His name is Goliath, and according to the park staff, he has been there for over a year. The alligator, now known as Goliath, has sort of become an unofficial mascot of the golf course, attracting many people as golf in general is actually substantially boring. No one actually cares about golf. It's just a weird thing old people do. In other alligators in Florida news... A woman was bitten by an alligator after she was swimming in a retention pond. Previous reports was that she was feeding the alligator. You should also not do either of these things. Do not feed the alligators. Do not swim in retention ponds. As a matter of fact, don't swim in any bodies of water in Florida that are murky. Canals, lakes, ponds. Just don't swim in them. Even if you don't see an alligator, there most likely is an alligator. This is Florida. That's what we do. In our next story, we have a Florida man attempting to break into a police station for safety. That's not really the real story. The real story was he was high on a new designer drug called Flaca. Flaca is a new drug made from bath salts cut with cocaine, methamphetamine, or some other unknown substance smoked through an e-cigarette. Any combination of this and Floridians is just going to end horribly in a bad event that nobody wants. Yes, just try to imagine cannibalism times 3,000. An unsettling discovery at Sunrise Middle School where two 7th graders were found with a large cache of weaponry. The cache included a 357 Magnum, 59 bullets, two sets of knives, a ski mask, and some fireworks. Don't worry, the students have been given a 10-day suspension. Pending expulsion. Mary Fitzgerald of the Teachers Union said, Most people thought there was a plan other than what the children said about the suicide pact. The amount of weaponry, the ammunition, the ski masks, it just doesn't add up. Gee, you think? Both students claim a long history of bullying in verbal and physical abuse, as well as cutting themselves and have the scarring on their arms to prove it. The school plans to respond to this by cracking down on students with difficult and aggressive behavior. This appears to be a continuation of their standing policy, though, as this is the third of several incidents to happen this month. In our next story, a possible student related to this school, a 13-year-old, pulled out a gun and shot both of his brothers, killing one and wounding the other. The argument seemed to have stretched from an issue over cooking food. The firearm used for which seems to have materialized out of thin air as the child had no access to firearms whatsoever. The police have not informed the mother of which son has died because they're playing some sort of strange game of which one of your kids is dead. Next we have an interesting carjacking story from a woman who seems to be the worst criminal ever. The woman seems to have used her personal cell phone to call a pizza delivery. When she claimed to go inside to get the money, two men robbed the pizza guy at knife point. She then took off with the two men in the stolen car from the pizza guy. The car was later discovered with a photo album filled with pictures of her. This has to be the stupidest criminal ever. Perhaps she should have taken a cue from her two companions who have yet to be identified and actually tried to hide her identity. One of the gentlemen that actually robbed the pizza guy actually had pantyhose on his head. That is maybe a good first start. And in our final story tonight, possibly the worst superhero ever, the Catholic warrior, as identified by her t-shirt, has had all her charges dropped. 
Last Christmas, Susan Heimrich was arrested for trying to express her freedom of religion by trying to peacefully destroy a satanic Christmas display at the Florida State Capitol building. Mrs. Heimrich is a law-abiding citizen with no previous criminal record, and she was just trying to defend the Christian faith from this brutal attack from the Satan. You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this. I can't do this anymore. This is bullshit. Her supporters are calling her a non-violent protester. This is all a fabrication and lies. She is a horrible person dripping with hypocrisy and should most likely spend some time in a jail cell considering the definition of the word non-violent. This episode was brought to you by Freddy's Formal Florida Footwear. Flip-flops. Good for any event, such as a beach wedding, a mass suicide cult, various drinking establishments, your own arrest and arraignment. That's all for this week, everyone. Till next week, this is Nick and Mike saying, get us the hell out of Florida. Dear God, please, please get us out of Florida.